the weekend. Welcome to another episode of The Fiend Zone here on Horror Fiend TV with your host, JR. We have some horror news for you on a long anticipated sequel to a horror classic. But is it me or sequels to long anticipated horror movies a thing now? I guess we'll find out later on. But we also have another spotlight of the week. Hmm. I wonder what it's going to be this time and what are we going to be digging up? But before I get to that, now I have two shout outs this week. The first, if you watch our last episode of Three Corners of Horror, exclusively here on Horror Fiend TV, we spoke about Guillermo del Toro's Antlers. Now, for me, I praised Jeremy T. Thomas, who played the character of Lucas and his performance. Now, I posted the video on one of our social media, on our Instagram, and to my surprise, he liked the video, and Jeremy T. Thomas, continue what you're doing. You found a niche in horror. Hey, you got a bright future in the horror genre, and I know we need kid actors like you, so thank you very much. Second, we've had a famous comment on our episodes of Three Corners of Horror, and on behalf of myself, Rick, and Joe, we would like to thank Lexi Bennett for your continued support. This is the reason we do what we do. We review movies, we like the feedback, and thank you for commenting on our posts, on our movies. And if you have any movie you want us to review, we'll do it for you. Thank you once again on the behalf of Three Corners of Horror. Now, one of the all-time classic horror movies was Scream. As a horror fan, this film epitomized what we look for in a movie. Great characters in the film, and on top of that, tropes and cliches in the horror brought to us by the great Wes Craven. In this sequel, it reunites the cast 25 years later as, guess who has returned? Ghostface. Are you excited about this film? If so, leave a comment below. You can watch Scream currently streaming on Paramount TV, and I can guarantee you that this film will be on an episode of Three Corners of Horror. Last week, we spotlighted All of Us Are Dead on Netflix. Now, if you watch this series, I would love to know your thoughts about it. Now, that being said, the Netflix train keeps rolling with yet another good horror series. Archive 81. This series is executive produced by famed director James Wan, known for his horror film, Malignant. The series follows an archivist, Dan, played by Mamadou Athi, hired to restore a collection of tapes. He begins piecing together this collection of footage through the accounts of a young woman, Melody, played by Dina Shahabi, who documented her investigation of the visitor in 1994. The series is well written, and the storyline draws you into this place called the visitor. I gotta tell you, Netflix is on a roll, and this is another series that's worth watching. <laughs> In this week's episode of The Walking Dead, Governor Pamela Hilton and Lance Hornsby travel to Alexandria, Hilltop, and Oceanside. However, just as usual, not everything goes as planned. Also, Maggie makes a strong decision that has severe consequences. Now, after the episode, once again, come here on Horror Fiend TV at 10 o'clock to hear Rick and Joel decipher, break down, dissect the latest episode of The Walking Dead on their horror podcast here on Horror Fiend TV. For our next episode of Three Corners of Horror, here's a trivia question just for you. What happens when you get a haunt, an author, and a crypt master? Give up? In our next episode, we sit down with the author of the book of top 10 horror list, Crypt Master Chucky himself, Charles Rosny. In his book, Charles interviewed a variety of celebrities and horror icons to find out their top 10 list. Who's in the book? The book is available on Amazon. It's 
a nice weekend. Sit down and read this horror fans montage of celebrities as they talk horror. Join us this Tuesday on Three Corners of Horror as we sit down with Charles and talk to him about his alter ego, Crypt Master Chucky, his time as host of Bright Haven Haunt, and his acting career in movies and indie films. Did I say something about top 10 horror lists? Well, if you also join us this Tuesday, myself, Rick, Joe, and Charles himself will give you our top 10 horror list. Find out what movies makes us tingle. It's going to be so exciting, and we want to hear what your top 10 list is. So leave a comment below this Tuesday after Three Corners of Horror, after you watch it, and let us know what is your top 10 list. This is our time this week on The Fiend Zone. Have yourselves a great weekend. Stay safe. Watch a horror movie. Hey, horror movies 24-7. Morning, noon, night, doesn't matter. Watch horror movie all the time. This is JR for The Fiend Zone. Have a great one. Thank you for watching.